Hello everybody, and today we are going to answer the age-old question that I don't know if you've ever asked yourself, but let's just say you did. The age-old question, what exactly is inspiration? Hey there everybody and welcome to this channel where I give you writing tips and all sorts of fun, exciting stuff that make you just fucking better at what the fuck you do, okay? So today we're going to talk about inspiration because I think this is something that a lot of people don't give enough credit to and they kind of just like push it off until they don't have it. It's kind of like that thing like you don't know what you got until it's gone. You don't know how great that relationship you're in is until after your partner leaves and never fucking comes back. <laughs> inspiration is the same in that usually when most people are like writing and they're doing a bunch of stuff there's all these like oh well you know there's like there's technique and you know there's got to be like you know i need like a quiet room or i need like a lot of noise and there's all this other shit and they never talk about inspiration and then the fucking second they have writer's block it's like oh i'm just not inspired I just don't have the inspiration to fucking do anything. Oh, God. And it's fucking laughable, dude. So now we're going to talk about what inspiration is, where it comes from, why it's important, and why you need to fucking ride the lightning, Metallica, when it comes. You know what I'm saying? So inspiration is kind of like this thing. And, like, for all of you out there who have, like, an overly sensitive bullshit meter... Or have like a very cynical view where every time I open my mouth, you're like, Oh yeah, this this might be good for some people, but it's not good for me. <laughs> okay, like knock all that shit off for like the next like five minutes or however fucking long this video is. Okay? Because honestly, you may fucking learn something. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the fucking world. Okay? So here, here's here's the deal. This is really going to tie up a lot of those writing tip videos that I've been doing lately. Because at the end of the day, this is the most important thing. Now, I don't mean to get too lofty with this stuff. Okay? And some of this is going to sound kind of out there. But for the sake of your fucking writing, for the sake of your career... Let's just assume for two fucking seconds that what I'm saying isn't bullshit and totally applies to you. Let's just say that that happens because the worst thing that's going to happen is that you become better at what you do and you find it easier to do the things that you want to do. Okay. So all of your negativity and bullshit, set it aside for two seconds. And I know some of you out there think you're very positive people, but you're fucking not, okay? I've, I've heard the things you've said. I've seen the comments you've typed, all right? Your faux positivity is hurting you more than you know, okay? So let's just pretend for a couple seconds here that everything I'm saying right now is accurate and be open to the fact that you could apply this to your fucking life, all right? And this will help you. I fucking promise you it will fucking help you, okay? So, when inspiration strikes, and that term is used for a reason, inspiration strikes, because when it happens, it hits you like a fucking bolt of lightning, okay? It's like, boom, and you're like, Oh shit, I can fucking do this now, okay? You get this fucking great idea. Now, when you get a great idea, what do you do? Because there's going to be two things that you do. One of two things. One thing is you stop everything you're fucking doing and you sit down and you work on that idea. What? 99% of the people who are watching this video do. They go, oh shit, that's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe some of you even go, I should write that down for later. Mm. Yes, I should write that down for later. Or like you just go, okay, I'm going to 
take a picture of that in my mind's eye so I could remember that for later. Some of you who do that will end up coming back to that within a day, you know, or within a week, whatever. Some of you will have this thing called a fucking idea folder or an idea note, like in your notepad or something like that, where you write down all these great ideas that you never do anything with. Okay, now the reason you don't do anything with these is because that inspiration, that strike, you let that cool off. So now when you're back to the idea, after you're not interested anymore or cooled on the idea, when you look at it again, you might be like, hmm, God, and how many times have you said this? Like, like you go through something or you're telling somebody like this idea you got. And then you say these fucking awful words that follow. <sighs> that really sounded better yesterday or whenever when I was thinking about it. Why do you think that is? Because you were excited about the inspiration when it hit. Because a lot of you were thinking, like, oh, well, it obviously wasn't a good idea if I'm not excited about it the next day. Ah, wrong. That is what fucking losers fucking tell themselves. And that's what loser instructors and teachers and professors tell people. Oh, yeah. Write your ideas down and, like, come back to it in a week or a month. And if it's still a good idea, then write it. Fuck you. Just write your good ideas when you have good ideas. It's just... Like, the thing. Like, you should feel so blessed and privileged that you get great ideas. And then what do you do? You fucking squander them in a fucking idea file. For what? For fucking what? To do nothing with. And then try to fucking come up with some rationale to fucking tell yourself about why it wasn't a good idea in the first place. It's fucking stupid, and you're cutting yourself short. Okay, so this is why. This is fucking why. I have, like, my, my fucking four mantras here, or whatever, and um, I have them as little books. We have the Type Hard book. We have the Type Fast book. We have the Type Daily book. And we have the type drunk book. All four are available at my Etsy shop. Poetry on writing. Okay, now the reason why I bring this up is because this is how you bust through your inspiration. You fucking type hard. Because you have to. You do it because it's a compulsion. And you're just like, you get a good idea. You're like, fuck that. I'm going to fucking, mm. it's the fucking iron will to succeed. Okay. Type fast. You have to type fast to get that fucking idea out. Because if you're really good at collecting ideas out of the ether, you're going to get more and more and more and more. So you have to be able to type fast. Probably the one in here that's going to help the most right now is type daily. When you get in the habit of typing daily, writing daily, putting your thoughts down, putting your inspirations down daily, now when you get that bolt of lightning and it hits you, you're not going to have to, you're, you're not going to say, oh, well, I have to wait till next week when I have like my writing time. Like, at most, you're going to say, oh, okay, uh, I got three hours to let this marinate. And then I'm going to go write because that's my scheduled time to write. Okay? And then, obviously, the type drunk is basically for you to turn off any inner editor that you have. And just type. And just let it flow. You know, type drunk, edit sober, the whole fucking thing. You don't have to be drunk on booze. You could be drunk on the fucking thrill that you're getting from inspiration and being struck by that lightning. Don't fucking overthink it. Just get the fucking words out. 
okay? Now, here is the other problem that people are going to run into with this. If you, and again, turn off your cynical bullshit meters right now, guys. And just listen, because it's not going to hurt you. I promise. If you tell the gods or whoever it is that sparks creation inside of you that you're not going to put those ideas down that you are not going to like be like thankful like oh shit i got this great idea i gotta write a fucking great poem i gotta write a short story i gotta write a book right fucking now if you keep giving the finger to the fucking lightning that hits you with that the lightning will come less and less and less because you are not showing that you are appreciative for the fucking ideas that you're getting. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I fucking, if you said you were hungry and I fucking made you a sandwich and you're like, God, I'm fucking starving, I'm so hungry and I make you a sandwich and I give you the fucking sandwich and then you look at it and you're like, oh, all right. This is really cool. I'm really excited about it. And then drop the sandwich on the floor and then walk in the other room and then shit on my bed. Do you think I'm ever going to fucking make you another sandwich again? No. So if you keep giving the finger to the ether, your ideas are going to come less and less and less and less. On top of that... The self-doubt we have as writers is so fucking severe that if you end up with an idea folder as long as your fucking arm, you're going to feel like you don't have it anymore, especially when you go back and read through those ideas and you're not excited about fucking any of them. Excitement wanes. Good ideas are solid forever, but excitement wanes. And the best time to write a good idea is when your excitement level is at its peak. And excitement for any given idea is going to be plagued with diminishing returns. Okay? It's back to entropy. It's back to the second law of thermodynamics. Okay? You're going to be super excited about an idea. And then every second that goes by, your excitement level is going to go down and down and down and down and down until you're writing the thing that you wanted to write just because you're like, well, it's on my list and I'm writing right now, so I might as well fucking do it, okay? When that spark hits, you have to fucking fan the flame. You have to, which is why setting a schedule at least for when you are going to write and have that be daily is so fucking huge. And just like with the rule of Adam, if you keep doing it, it's just going to get better no matter how shitty you think you're doing it. So when you get that idea, just start fucking writing. Just write, 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 write. Okay? And the other thing about ideas, and this goes back to the Rick Rubin thing, like, we all have antennas, okay, that, like, receive ideas from the ether, okay? If you do not take that idea and run with it from your own perspective, that idea will go somewhere else, and someone else will make that idea happen. And that's why so many of us always think that someone's stealing our ideas, or, oh, God... Now, I was going to write this book, but now fucking so-and-so wrote a book about it. It's almost exactly the same thing. Bleh. The only thing that separates every writer out there is our experience and our perspective. And when you put experience and perspective together, that makes voice. And that is how every writer has a different voice, or they should if they don't, that means the writer either has no experience or has no fucking perspective. Okay? And they're just fucking copying somebody. So anyway, um, I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, but your inspiration, when it hits you, you need to feel blessed 
and you need to do the right thing and fucking give the inspiration the um, the love that it deserves when you get it. Because if you don't do that, again, you will stop getting ideas. Okay? So don't squander this shit. All right? So keep buying my books. Get over there. Pick all of these up. Tie bar everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.